Welcome everybody. New bit of fresh stock here at Emerald HQ today in the form of this Audi S1 Quattro. Now Audi's hot hatch here has a 2 litre TFSI engine which is petrol driven and it produces around 228 brake horsepower. The Quattro four wheel drive system ensures that the stability matches that of the performance of this little hot hatch. Obviously you've also got the German craftsmanship so you haven't got to worry about build quality. Taking a closer look, here at the front you've got the Xenon Plus headlights, you've also got the S1 badge, the black badge is there and a gloss black grille. Now the black theme is extended all the way around the car in addition to the S body styling. You have the black mirrors here with the indicators built in. You also have a black roof which really does make this stand out. It's quite a nice addition, it's gloss black not satin so it's easy to maintain as well. You also have the window rubbers here, again as I say in other videos these aren't D-chrome so they're not going to chip and you also have slightly tinted privacy glass here and the black continues and you have a gloss black lip spoiler with an integrated LED brake light and you also have the black gloss badge on the back. Now moving down as you can see you have the grey Audi signature colour diffuser here with the honeycomb grille and you also have the quad exhaust system of which the S1 gives its signature note. Moving back round you can see the previous owner has upgraded the alloys to the very highly sought after rotor alloys. They are again a nice addition, they make the car, they just make it stand out, it looks different. Rather than the modified vehicles you see now with aftermarket alloys it's got the OEM genuine feel. So finishing off the exterior, as you can see, when I zoom back out, the stance on this car is pretty aggressive and that's down to the sport suspension which gives it a nice firmness but nothing too severe for the driver and passengers. Now we've done that, we'll take a look on the inside. Now we're on the interior guys, we'll take a quick look. Starting off here on the door card, you can see this S1 is complete with Bowser audio, giving a greater surround sound to any music that you're listening to. It really does create an atmosphere for the genre that you've got on. You also have electronic mirrors and electronic windows, and you also have the ability to deadlock here. You do have the full black leather with a contrast white stitching, S1 embossed full black leather seats. These are technically classed on Audi specification list as the S-Line sport seats. As you can see, you have the red chrome air vent surrounds, which you can find on earlier models of the Audi, and it became a popular theme amongst the enthusiasts. We've also got the media unit. So you have the tone. Obviously, this will deliver the sound through the Bowser audio system to suit the compatibility of the genre you're listening to, or if you just want some nice deep bass, or if you want some nice classical opera, this will sort it for you. You can also click on car, and that's basically your Audi drive select mode, which you also have a button which will come to shortly. You can change between efficiency for miles per gallon, you can change to auto, or you can change to dynamic, which we in the trade like to class as smiles per gallon. You also have your radio, this is DAB functional and you are able to choose from a whole host of, you know, widely known commercial radio stations. You have media playback, now this can connect through your mobile phone, your iPod, anything else, kids tablet in the back, as long as it's got Bluetooth it will connect. You can media stream, you can media share. Telephone. Pretty self-explanatory, every car has it these days. You can connect your mobile phone via Bluetooth. You also have the menu button here in which you can go through those options in greater detail. If you click on the car for example, you can get into that, that's your AD driver select. If you go on telephone, that brings up your Bluetooth. Information, that's obviously just giving you any error messages or anything that you need to know. Navigation, we know that's not enabled. Media, CD, Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary, any of those. Radio and tone, which we've just gone through. You also have here the option for information, as we've just seen in the previous little bit there, that is regarding any information for the car. You also have your hazard lights and your auto stop start off. Here you have your little Audi multimedia system, 
and you have the you have the air conditioning unit just here which is quite self-explanatory here you have your heated screen you have traction control off for those of you that want a little bit of fun and we have the drive select mode here as well we have two cup holders a lock and wheel nut some storage a 12 volt dc little cigarette lighter there and we also have the Audi S1 leather embossed gear knob and leather gear gator with white stitching. We also have a leather handbrake and that ties up that. Now, moving on to the instrument cluster. Quite sharp from Audi, nice design, comfortable on the eye, easy to operate. You have your revs on the left, you have your speedo on the right, you have your fuel gauge on the right and you have your engine temperature on the left. Now we'll just start this Audi up for you. Now, as you can see, nice, bright, sharp contrast displays. You can adjust these on the button just on the right-hand side, but we don't need to worry about that just yet. Here, you have your steering wheel controls, which you can change. And if you change the menu here, it says please refuel, which we know from the fuel light. Bluetooth, Bluetooth again. Navigation, obviously, as we've said, you would need to update your medium. And we have the error messages here, if anything, 10 miles fuel, 6 7 minutes travelling, 15.3 average miles per gallon, 0 mile an hour, and 0 miles covered. So we'll leave it on the speed down. As you can see, less than 45,000 miles on this car. Very nice, very low mileage, hardly really used. Here we have your indicator stalk and your lights. Here we have your headlights and your wipers. Here we have the information for the sat nav, we have voice control, we have the driver select button here and we also have the volume control. We have the red ring around the steering wheel and the logo here and we also have your buttons to control the instrument cluster display. And as you can see just down here we have cruise control. Finally finishing up this little button here on the left hand side this is the contrast within the instrument cluster. When at night, you can change how bright or how low the resolution is. And here we have the light function. Automatic, people usually use these days, but some people like to keep it manual. Well, we're really impressed with our Audi S1 here. We think it's quite a nice little bit of kit. We think Audi have got it right, and we think you'd like it too. If you are interested, or you do want to contact us for any more information, give us a shout. Emerald House of Cars, probably the best car dealership in the UK. Hi guys, you join me today as I'm driving the Audi S1 Quattro with less than 45,000 miles on the clock. Audi's hot hatchback, simply put, it's a great little car, lots of fun. You've got Bluetooth, you've got DAB radio, you've got a nice up-to-date interior with the red contrast chrome air vent surrounds. You've got the ability to Bluetooth, stream, you've got all sorts in this car. You've also got Audi's prominent driving select feature, which allows you to change between efficient for miles per gallon, for comfort, for obviously an easy on the fuel, less throttle response, nice and easy. You have auto, which the car will automatically sync up of what it thinks you drive. The dynamic mode gives the exhaust a little bit of a more grunt and a bit more verbal and allows the car to have a greater throttle response, stiffer handling and firmer ride. Now, as you can see, the car, free from any knocks or any noises that you don't want, no surprises for the new owner. You also have no problems with your steering or tracking or any wheel wobble. Braking. You can brake easily, no judder, no issues with stopping, nice. As you can see, you also have the manual gearbox, nice, smooth, easy, transitional gears, all the way to sixth gear. No knocks, no force, and no feedback from the gears when moving. This S1 also benefits from Audi's patented Quattro four-wheel drive system. Simply put, the car will go anywhere you want on any terrain. As you can hear, the cars are a lot of fun. They do pick up very quick, but that's what an S1 does. Small, light, nimble performance. It's a great combination, something that you shouldn't be without. As you know, you've also got air conditioning, which ensures that the car is kept cool at optimum times or warm in the colder months. 
The S1 has also been put through our Emerald House of Cars 128 point check prior to retailing. This allows new buyers to buy with complete reassurance and in the knowledge that there'll be no maintenance required for the foreseeable future. Thanks for watching.